All right, so we're going to check on this A24. The, the rat has been getting well up into the trap and nothing's happening. So I'm suspicious that the gas canister is depleted. There's really no way to tell except by trying to trip it, which we're going to do in a second. There is a uh, optional, optional counter thing you can get here that I did, I think is worth getting. So every time the trap fires, it vibrates enough to trip this to the next number. So we've had 12 strikes with this gas canister. The last one I had uh, lasted 18 strikes, so I was kind of waiting. But I have a sneaky suspicion that um, that uh, it's not happening. So before we try to trip it, I'm going to cut here and uh, show you what the rat's been doing and seeing that it's not, that it's not he's tripping. not tripping so the trap. Is we're going to open up the top and see what's happening up here. So all the bait is gone from up in here. So there was some bait resting on the uh, pin there. Uh, so it looks like that's gone too. So last night he wasn't really interested in going up in the trap. So I think it's probable that um, that it's uh, depleted. So we're gonna make it sit up here and then we're gonna uh, trip it. See if we're right. All right. Before we get started, I'm gonna emphasize that this is like a loaded gun. So you wanna be very extra careful. So I'm wearing safety glasses. Now that the safety piston is below the pin, but I am going to use a uh, chopstick to try to trip the pin. So be, if it still has gas in it, be prepared to, I'm going to get startled. So we're going to try moving it. Yeah, see? So the gas is depleted. Okay, that explains why Mr. Rat is still alive. So, so we're going to fix that and uh, I'll show you how to do that. All right, so we should be able to get it off without uh, taking the Taking it out of the frame. Well, first we're going to unscrew it. There's the old gas canister. Let's see if it's got enough room to get all the way out here. Yeah. Okay. So just when you when you screw it in, it punctures a hole in the um, canister there. So we're going to take it out for the take this off of it if we can. So this is a rubberized thing. All right. We're going to put it on the new one. Here's a new one. See, so it hasn't been punctured yet. Put it on the new one. And it has a little depression here. You want to seat it down into there. That's far enough. Now, this is, this is compressed gas, too. So, again, you want to be wearing safety glasses. All right. So, we got to screw this in and not waste a lot of time. Once it gets going, you want to screw it in and not hesitate because we don't want it to leak out. So. Once we get the thread started, we're going to want to go fast. All right, you heard that. So now, now it's uh, gassed up again. I, I could, I could trip it right now. Oops. <laughs> I could trip it right now, but uh, I don't think I'm going to. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to reset this counter so we can see what. Uh, so the way you reset the counter, you just hold it down, it'll reset. Okay, now it's back at zero. Okay, so now our trap is ready to fire. So we'll just bait it as usual. I'm going to use peanut butter as usual. Put some in here. Put some, put some bird seed on it. So I'll get that set up, and then we'll, we'll, we'll wrap it up. All right, so as usual, I'm using my popsicle stick. I'm going to put some bait on the top of this depleted lure that you buy from them has chocolate in it. Works okay, but it drips out kind of fast, and uh, uh, they seem to like peanut butter right there. So I'll spread some uh, bird seed on it. That's good. And then we'll screw it in the top. And hopefully tonight, Mr. Rat will say, hey, more food. Then what I usually do is I uh, take some of the excess, there's still a little bit of peanut butter left in it, I just scrape it along the bottom here so he gets interested in looking up there again. I mean, careful not to get close to that wire. So the wire's up here, right in this area, and the piston is down here. So when he gets up and hits the wire, then the piston hits him right in the head, smash a room. I'm going to show you the lure that they sell. So this is the lure they sell. 
And it's supposed to be good for six months. That's not my experience. It comes out too fast. And there's some kind of weird system where you take this coin off. This is an, a uh, New Zealand coin. That's where the company's from. It's a 10 cent coin, I guess. And then uh, that somehow releases the gas, some kind of gas or something that forces the pressure. You can see this is pretty well inflated now, but. So I bought a few of these and I did use them for a while. I'm not, I like the peanut butter better, so I'm gonna stick with that. All right, so there's a few little uh, bird seeds here. Maybe we'll put a couple more there just to make sure he doesn't, uh, he knows what's going on. So he gets, gets some little, little bit of food and it says, hey, there's more food up top with peanut butter, yum. All right, we'll see what happens tonight. I'm guessing for once the A24 worked like they show at the Good Nature videos where the rat gets up in there and then uh, its head gets crushed by the piston and then it just drops down flat. If you've seen some of my other videos, <coughs> the rat's um, nervous system keeps working and they're flopping around. So in this case, it worked like it was supposed to and Mr. Rat is no more. So I'm sorry for Mr. Rat, but we had to uh, protect our our, our uh, property here so what i usually do is i uh, the epa suggests you double bag the rats so i get these old bread bags and you can just grab them by the tail and like this and then you just you got them by the tail now and then you just pull the bag over them That. Kind of a dirty business, but gotta get me done. Now you got them like this, and then you can get the air out. Tie this off. I notice I'm wearing rubber gloves. That's and I might use these ones to get rid of them. Then you put them in the other bag like this. Bag this up. There. Now he's not going to spread any disease or anything. Also wearing long sleeves. I'm going to take this shirt off as soon as I'm done. So, all right. So changing the uh, gas, which was our problem, obviously, uh, solved the problem. And if we look down here, let me get in here. Look down here, it should say one strike now. Yeah, so it says one strike. So I think, like the first um, first gas canister I had lasted 18 strikes. This one, the one before this lasted 12. So I think I'm probably going to start changing it at 10. <clears throat> that's that's a pretty good uh, return on investment, I'd say. So, all right, Mr. Rat, sorry about that, but it's either you or me. So that's it for rat number 11. And I think this combination of a wildlife cam and a 24 is the best, best way to trap rats. Uh, if you've got, um, cats, because if you don't, if you don't, if you don't have a cat, snap traps are okay. Although birds can't get tra trapped in them, but a 24 is effective, but you got to be able to keep track of what's going on with the camera and uh, bait the trap appropriately. So so this trap has bait in it. If another rat shows up, it might go for it. If not, then I just I just check the camera every day and see if any there's any activity. If there is, then I start make sure it's baited and, and I'll be checking the gas cartridge, whatever, so. All right, that's it for this time. And uh, if any more rats show up, I'll make some more videos. 
you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signi signing out, and keep looking up.